used to think the Eurasian water milfoil was the worst of the worst, but uh, hydrilla, it turns out, is probably even more threatening than the Eurasian water milfoil. It's akin to the, the movie uh, King Kong, where someone discovers this, this beast in the wild. He imported it to the United States as the uh, aquarium trade, knowing that it would be a successful grower and therefore seller. And within three, four years, it escaped. I first came here when I was eight to Wavis. My husband Bill and I eventually bought a cottage because I kept talking about this lake. It's great swimming, it's great loon nesting habitat, and it's great recreation habitat. And the people are here to help protect it today. Today we are installing a pond liner to try and smother the hydrilla, what's left of the hydrilla, as much as possible. Our success here in managing this, preventing it from spreading throughout the lake elsewhere and into other lakes, really is protecting the entire state. So it really kind of starts and the problem could end here, however successful we are with this benthic barrier today. Have you seen the fabric? Have you touched it? This pond liner has never been used in the state of Maine before. We know that there has been some success using it in the state of Vermont with variable leaf milfoil, but this is the first time we're using it in the state of Maine. When was this discovered? 2009. Thank you. <laughs> so it's been here a while, we've been working on it a while. The main objective is preventing this further spread. If we can eradicate it, that would be great, but it's very difficult to achieve. It can vegetate from a fragment of the plant, but once a plant grows, it produces tubers, and then the tubers are in the sediment for up to years. Other states don't even use the word prevention in, in their outlook. One or more invasive species have taken over every body of water. And if you look on the website of the state of Florida, you can see the amount of money they spend each year just trying to keep it in check so that they maintain navigable waters. And we know that prevention is the best bang for the buck. I'm very optimistic about invasive species in Maine because we have an enlightened public, and that public is from Denver Scott Lake Watershed Association to fishermen, to boaters, to camp owners, to realtors, knowing what this problem is about. There is a tremendous volunteer effort going on all around the lake where all the incoming and outgoing boats are checked for weeds. The more you have those interceptions, and we have dozens every year, those are dozens of infestations we do not have. And I think it's really great when landowners and people who like the lake invest their time and energy in the lake too. I think it makes it that much more special.